What's going on YouTube? How y'all doing? Uh, this is the Clipper Doctor with another little review for you all. Um, yes, I have the two, the rose gold and the gold FXs. And I just want to say shout out to Babylus for a job well done on these. As most of you all know, I had the first version of the gold FXs and uh, they were great. I mean, they've always cut well, but there's a little twist to the new ones. And um, if you've had the old ones, um, the twist is from the old ones to the new ones is that they are a lot quieter now. So if you had an issue, you know what I'm saying? If you didn't like them because you may have heard them or something like that and didn't like how they sounded, I'm telling you, they fixed that issue. Uh, they can be zero gapped. These can be zero gapped now. So... Without, a further, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the video. Before I go ahead and get started, I'm going to show you all. The FX Rose Gold Guard have the rose gold color when it comes down to the um, indicator. And um, there you go. And the gold FX, they're like that. They got gold on them. So... This is not an unboxing. I've taken these out the box. I've used them a few times. And again, I thoroughly enjoy using these. That Ferrari motor is a big, 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 um, just, just a big standard set for these clippers. Because again, you can literally hear the clippers as you're, I mean, hear the hair being cut as you're cutting with these. And that's both of them. So, um, We'll start with the gold FX. Okay. Just like the older style, you still have the notches. Let me let you hear them. So you still have that. No issue. Same great clipper in gold. You have the hanging uh, mechanism right there. So if you wanna hang them upside down, the charger port, the indicator as far as the charging power, and of course, you go blade. So uh, I wish I had the older one, but I believe through this video, you all be to hear it anyway. Here's the new sound. I mean, that is, that is leaps and bounds different from what they used to sound like. Same black uh, graphite, I believe, bla uh, cutting blade. And again, it just, they sound so much better. I can do a full fade with these clippers, and I have done full fades, taking the, uh, the ball line out, notching. I mean, everything's been able to be possible with these clippers here. So that's the gold FX with the black, if you can see the black steel uh, uh, cutting blade here. There we go. So that one's black, okay? Now, that's called a DLC nickel titanium coated steel blade. And so again, I mean, they're doing the thing, just showing you all a little, um, little readings on the back because I'm pretty sure you all can read those. And then we got this part here. It's telling you the combs that it comes with and things like that. Barbarology. I mean, y'all see, y'all see I'm rocking that, uh, that apron. I love this apron. So shout out to Babyless or Babyless. Sorry. <laughs> Now, here soon, I will have my own little intros and stuff like that. But until then, we'll just go ahead and shoot from the hip for the most part. So we've seen the uh, gold effects and, and, uh, and how it works. Now, it's time to see the rose gold. one. One thing about baby, is they keep those things packaged in there pretty good. So here we go. Rose gold, okay? Now, the back of this one says, this has the carbon stainless steel. 
blade instead of the DLC. So you'll see that it's silver, the normal color. And so is the steel blade, okay? Same notching uh, uh, system. Everything at the bottom. Okay, now, for those who have this one, check this out. I mean, much, much quieter than what they used to be. I mean, I think you can still hear the, if the video, I don't know if the video will do it, but you can still hear the notches from where I am. So, and like I said, zero gap, check this out. Now, so those who say they can't be zero gap, that is the standard blade on there. And that's a zero gap. Anything really past that is going to be a, a over gap, in my opinion. So, um, but let me show you the same thing with the rose, I mean, with the gold. I mean, that's zeroed out. So, again, definitely quieter. Listen to this. We do a side by side comparison. I mean, both of these combined are quieter, quieter than what they used to sound like. So there you have it. That's just a little overview on both of them. Now, um, a lot of people will ask the question, um, how long do they run? I'm just going to tell you, the package says two hours for both of them. <clears throat> but in my personal opinion, it seems like they may run a little longer than that. They still take a while to charge. So I would charge them. I think they take maybe close to that, about an hour, a little over an hour to charge fully. But, um, these things, like I said, will go. These are work horses. I mean, both of them, when you cut hair, you can hear the hair being cut on both of these. So, again, fully fadeable. I mean, um, these, these can do a full fade. No issue. Again, check the zero gap now. Check the zero gap. So, these can do a full fade. So, um, let me just put this out there because I know a million people will ask me, how do they compare to the, um, the corded, the cordless seniors? Let me tell you this, the Ferrari motors in these and the fact that they can be zero gap and the notches, I'm just going to put it this way. I personally do cannot say which one is better than the other because both of them have so many different unique circumstances to go with them. So let me tell you this. It's not just going to be, a, oh, I picked this one over this one. On some cuts, I would prefer to use my uh, a gold or rose gold FXs. And on some cuts, I prefer to use my seniors. Not really much to do with the clipper as opposed to the hair type and things like that. But one benefit to these is that you can definitely swap and put a wall senior blade on these. So now when you add that aspect to it, I mean, you, you got to realize the uh, babyless came with it this time. I mean, they came with it last time, but with that quieter engine right there, I mean, that quieter, uh, the, with the quiet sound that comes from these now, huge, huge, huge difference. Um, just snap one of these on there. Do the 
same thing for this one. So, again, um, trying to think, uh, weight. These, again, this is two finger action right here. So if you can't do that, and I can do it with two fingers, I mean, I don't know what to say, but definitely light. Definitely light, in my opinion. So um, there's no, let me see, I'm trying to, if I was to say a con, with these clippers, and just to be honest, if I was to say a con, um, uh, I can't say the grip because I personally like this grip. This is actually a, a mimic to, to, I mean, it's actually uh, designed to mimic a barbell weight, I mean, a, a weight bar. So you can see that. It looks just like the weight, you know what I'm saying, bar when you lift it. So I mean it's kinda it's kind of similar, you know what I'm saying? It's just something I'm used to. But um I'm trying okay, okay. Here's here's a here's a here's a con, if you want to call it that. I can say I may not like the guards as much as I would like the wall guards, the premium ones, but these are the standard guards that they add with the packaging. And again, these are still great guards. But I've gotten used to the premiums, so that's one thing. Oh, um, man. I'm just going to be honest, which I really cannot find too much of a negative with these. Uh, I haven't. I have, I've used these. These have not run hot on me. Uh, again, now that you can zero gap them, it's not that. I mean, again, they, re they produce such a smooth cut on the hair. I mean... I can't describe it, but anyway, um, I'm not sure of a, a, a con, a pro, is that you can hear the hair while it's being cut on both of them, um, that they, they, they can be zero gapped. Obviously, the look, I mean, that just, let me tell you something. I mean, anytime I have customers and clients, they don't know anything about clippers, but they know these are some unique clippers. They know these are, uh, uh, what do they call them, high class or whatever you want to call it, clippers. So these are definitely conversation starters at my shop. Um, but I personally, and this is, look, I, uh, I'm a big, 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 big um, Babyless fan, but I'm not going to lie for a clipper company. And it's just honestly, I do not have a, a con with these. Um, I'm really trying to think of one. But I can't, and I'm not going to try to force one. But you all can feel free to ask any questions about these. Um, do they compare to the Wall Seniors? Definitely. Definitely. They are up there with them, neck and neck. I mean, again, what I, I'm not talking about performance-wise. And, and what I mean is that performance-wise, these things in the Wall Seniors, you really will not be able to say, hey, this one's better than the other. Because whereas wall has a benefit, babyless is going to have a benefit. So unless you just have a personal preference, that's probably going to be the only thing that pushes over edge is your personal preference. But anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, they definitely uh, charge the same way as the old ones. So there's no sense in that. I mean, you, you plug them up, they charge. Blue light blinks on. When it stays lit, it's charged. So that's that's that. Um, and that's going to be about it. So I want to keep this under 15 minutes. So that's all I can come up with at this point. So again, Babyless, great job on these clippers. You all came through. You all answered the things that your customers were looking for. Major props to you all for that. Anybody got questions, let me know. Please remember to like, comment, and definitely subscribe to this channel. Because again, I'm trying to grow. And I like to do these videos and things like that for you all. So uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Again, y'all, this is the Clipper Doctor. Y'all take care.